everyone, my name is Nettie. Welcome to a new series, Shantae, Risky's Revenge, the director's cut. Now I actually haven't played this one, or the first one for that matter for Shantae. I kind of jumped to the later games in the series, but I really wanted to try out Risky's Revenge for a super long time. And if the Smash community is anything to go by, Shantae is an underrated but beloved character. And it started to make me wonder just how many people actually know Shantae. Uh, as I mentioned before, even I'm still relatively new to Shantae and her journey, so I figured why not go through it together? Maybe it can introduce you to a new, a new series that you may like. Ignore file C, I was trying to make sure things didn't blow up. We'll start in file A. Or press the wrong button. <laughs> Life as a half genie is hard work. Ever since I ran Risky Boots out of town, every monster in Sequin Land wants a battle. Well, holding back now won't help any. Gonna have to hair him till it hurts. Shantae fights by using her hair as a whip. Do not worry too much about the legitimacy of that because that would hurt. But with any typical person in a video game, they do drop money, which is always welcome. Her house is over here by the lighthouse, and can I say I'm just a little envious? I wish my house was next to a lighthouse like this. Now the enemies are going to come from us from all sides. And there's a ton of them too. Even my hair isn't long, as long as hers, but I've always tried to whip people with my hair. <laughs> yeah, I still got the moves. Oh, she's just adorable. The lighthouse. Shantae's place. Is there anything down here? Not that I would know. There is. Whoops. Oh. You got the egg. I didn't step on it, did I? That'll probably come in handy later. Ooh. And I'll come back for you later, my lovely. Make our way across again. Or just fall straight into the water. Yeah, it's probably fine. Scare off the seagulls. Hey, you. Hi, Ashante. I'm off to see your uncle's show. Want to go with? Huh? The Relic Hunter Expo is today? Yeah. Sky Wrench flew in this morning just to see it. Oh my gosh, Sky's egg! I left the sunny in the bay. Don't move a muscle. Oh, you mean this egg? <laughs> Way ahead of you. Got the egg. Let's go. Phew. Smells like grandma. <laughs> I'm sure that's normal. You're the worst egg sitter ever. Don't blame me when Sky finds out. We should follow him. <laughs> Welcome to Scuttletown. Now, I guess spoilers, not spoilers, but I don't know if there's any voice acting in this game, but later on, Shantae gets voiced by the beloved Christina V, who haunts my life every day. The Relic Hunters are known worldwide for their unusual discoveries. I hope to see something truly amazing today. When I say haunted, by the way, I don't mean like she's actually like a plague upon my life. I mean more in a sense of like, Everywhere I turn, Christina V's there. Ever since my childhood, she's always been there. Oh boy, today's the Relic Hunter Expo. Us the old explorers always find the weirdest stuff from the old world. I always pre-register. <sighs> Before the tickets get too expensive, I hope. All these boats coming in. Scuttletown ain't got room to dock them all. It is a small town, but I kind of like small towns. Hey Shantae, what's it gonna take to get you back on stage? Quit being so shy. <laughs> she was a dancer in the past games. I think you can do it here. Oh, this is the expo. And grasping with the right crystal. Firmly in hand, I ducked for several seconds at what appeared to be a calming cliff face until blah, blah, blah. Psst, you're late. It's your sworn duty to protect this town against the criminal element. 
you a grump. I'm guessing training week was a bust. Total disaster. My warbird hatchlings literally flew the coop. All besides wrench here. Speaking of which, do you have my egg? No. Very funny. Or come over. Gave the egg. <laughs> so, did you take good care of him? Spoiled him rotten. You better have. Oops, it's time. And with my emptied bowels replacing the treasure, I was able to outwit the pressure trap and make my escape. Citizens of Scuttletown, may I present this year's Object of Mystery. Ooh, murmur. Incredible, man. Huge bowels. Such bravery. As usual, we'll kick off the festivities by cracking open a fossilized treasure and offer the contents up for an auction. This year's mystery object appears to be encased in solid stone, but feels quite hollow. Shall I smash it open? Yay, do it! Clap, clap, clap. Then let the festival begin. Ooh. What is that? It looks like an oil lamp. Err. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my mistake. I seem to have uh, brought the wrong item, uh, that is. It's okay, uncle. Show us. Show us. Yay! No. I mean, no, it's not important. Please, well, let's, pl let's move on to the next event. Please turn your attention to... Hmm? need for alarm. I'll just drop him by for this. Risky boots! In the flesh, your spelunking uncle is always dredging up new collectibles. But this one, well, this takes the cake, doesn't it? It's just a worthless lamp. Put it back before there's trouble. T -t -t you have no idea the trouble that's in store. Tisk tisk. Eve Holman! Hoist my booty through the roof <laughs> and put your backs into it. Fortune most foul. That lamp is extremely dangerous. Sky, Bolo, one of you catch her before she reaches the dock. No way, I can handle this. No sign of Risky Boots or her pirate ship. If I've lost her, I'll never live it down. Yoo-hoo! Genie girl, looking for me? Risky! I'll give you one last chance to hand over that lamp. If not, things are gonna get ugly. <laughs> They're going to get ugly, all right. Let's see how you handle my brand new steam-powered oceanic tinker tub. Lock and load, men. I love those guys. It's time for Risky's revenge. So let's attack aggressively. <laughs> the thing's huge! Oh, please don't wreck my house. Oh, I should probably follow you. Oh, uh, hit the boat barrel and blow it up. <laughs> Look at her on top of the ship laughing. Uh oh. Gonna get into the water. Oh, uh oh. And blast us with cannonballs. This thing's huge. What was it called again? I already forgot the name of it. Oh, the sprite work in this game is stunning. Oh gosh, too close. Back up. I don't really know how much hair is going to damage this ship, but you know what? Maybe she just has really good hair routine. I can respect that. I'm also a girl who's really meticulous about hair care, so. <laughs> Feelings mutual, Shante. Uh-oh. Uh, do I also like to preserve my life? Maybe we don't share that in common. Or, well, wait, wait hold on. Uh, yes. No. I'm so lost. Not bad. I've learned a thing or two since our last duel. But no matter. 
With this lamp, I finally got the means to crush Sinquilan once and for all. Till then, play with this. Ow. Oh no! Shantae, wake up! Are you alright? Oh, she got away. Remain still. Leave the situation to Sky and Bolo. But... Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do. -do. Lying down on the job while that pirate runs pell-mell all over my town. Ever since this pirate thing started, Scuttletown's been going to the dogs. Mayor Scuttlebutt. Please understand, she's doing everything possible. Fooey with half-genies. As a whole town, we need complete protection. Pack up your things and clear out. You're fired. What? You can't mean it. I do. And that's my final word on the matter. Now get going. I'm a busy man. Well, he was in rare form. But he'll change his mind once I get that lamp back. No, I forbid you to go. Now you're acting even weirder than the mayor. What's, what is it about this lamp that's got you so worked up? I... I can't tell you. What? Why not? I promised your mother never to speak of it. That lamp caused a lot of suffering back in her day. Trust me. It's trouble. And better left forgotten. You can at least tell me why Risky would steal it. Is it dangerous? No, not anymore. The genies banished its magic long ago. They divided its power into three magic seals and hid them away forever. Even if the dark power was somehow restored, you remember how to use it. And I intend to carry that secret to the grave. But uncle, Risky must mo- uh, Risky must know more than you think. Otherwise, she wouldn't have stolen it in the first place. It's true. The potential for evil is too great. We have no choice. We must find all three magic seals before Risky Boot does. It will be difficult and very dangerous. And afterwards, we must never speak of this again. Do you think you're up to the challenge? If it means saving our town from evil, you bet. I'll find those three magic seals and put it into Risky's evil schemes once and for all. Well... At least I get to keep the lighthouse, right? I mean, it's not really in Scuttletown. Because it only says Scuttletown when I walk into here. Well then, how are you guys feeling? I got kicked out of my old town and traveled here to start a new life. I really hope this town can accept me for me. Aww. Have you seen the old coot in this town? He's, in, he's a save guy. See him if you want to record your progress. Noted. See these arrow things on the ground? Folks call them jump pads. Jump off of one to jump, launch forward or back. It'll take you straight to the town gate. Make sure you stop by the shop for some magic before you go. I suggest a storm puff. It's the most powerful weapon to start with, even if it's tricky to use. Can't get up there for now, but here's that elusive jump pad they are speaking so much of. And there's so much more Scuttle Town to look at. What's in here? Hey, Sky. When you're not sure what to do next, come talk to me, Bolo, or Uncle Mimic. You can find all three of us here in Scuttletown. From now on, don't be afraid to ask for help. What should I do? Oh. I see you're not actually going to help me right off the get-go. That's fine. And what's into here? Oh, there's that old coop. Uh, yeah. Save it. Save complete. Hey, kid. I love to run. I could always walk, but then I had to hold down my attack button all the time. Ah, you know, going for a leisurely stroll. It's not too bad. I can head up here. What are you? Blarg! No smash me! I guess I know what I need to do now, don't I? 
Hey, Bolo. Try visiting your pal Roddy Tops. You can find her zombie wagon by heading east from the town gate. It's a straight shot through, through the field and forest. Heading east, you say. Oh, I, had, I think I need to go buy a map first. Let's see, where's the shops? Probably over here, right? You look like a shop to me. Hey, I got 46 golds. Or gems. Magic fill. Oh, yeah. Whoops. I hit the wrong button again. And bot. Hmm. I might also... I'll buy three potions while I'm at it. Thank you. Sweet. And with this map, I should be able to... Hit the right button one day. Oh, whoa. Okay. So we need to head east from here. I think. Yes. So there should be another jump pad around here somewhere that can send me a bit more forward. That takes us back. Oh, I see it. Just down here. And go. Ooh, pretty. Did you visit the old man? I guess I can let you go then. Ooh, what's over here? Monsters still roam the outskirts of town. Be careful out there. Wait, uh, I don't think this is the right way to go though. Pumpkin fields! Oh, you, you ladies are nice looking. Oh. Oh, shoot. Take care of that lady. Sweet. Ah, you respawn. Give me money. I'm broke. I only have a dollar. No. I don't think this is where Roddy is. But it should be fine. Is this on the map by any chance? Yes, it is. Oh, there's so many of these Naga ladies up here. Ooh, a heart. Yes, money. Uh-oh. And there goes that elusive heart I just got. Oh no! Oh, I gotta get that. I gotta get out of here. At least I'm getting some money for this. Whip them up. Oh. Greetings, stranger. I'm what they call a warp pedestal. It's my job to zap folks from place to place. I like to help you out, but until my warp brothers wake up, I can't do squat. I'll keep an eye out for them. Hey, I remember you. Oh, still in range of that. Could you cut that out? There we go. In case you didn't know, those are death pits. Floating skulls come from it. Uh, woo! Come from it as well. Oh, uh oh. Oh, about that health potion. Uh oh. You gotta drink it though. How do I? There we go. Much better. <laughs> no money going to waste. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Ow, what? What hurt? Hmm. I don't have the key for this, do I? Or, oh, there we go. You got a magic jam. Nice. I don't know where all the magic gems are, but I'll definitely try and keep an eye out for it. Make my way out of there. What hurt me last time? Something tapped me. Or not? Huh. Oh, I think this is as far as I can go in terms of pumpkin fielding. Well, alright then. Let's make our way back to Scuttletown. All right, back in Scuttle Town, we need to head east. Keep a sharp eye on your heart meter. Once you run out of hearts, it's game over for you. If you make an important discovery, be sure to hit a save room afterwards. Oh, well, that's a good idea, come to think of it. Maybe I'll do that before I head east. That's Sky's room. I'll remember the right place eventually.
Would you like to save the record of your journey? Yes. Save complete. Nicely done. Now we just need to head back out from here. The art in this game is so beautiful. Left to, t left to town is Pumpkin Field. To the right is the Lilac Field. Try not to get lost. Too late. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, I love the music. Ow. I just walked into that. That was foul of me. Oh, come on. Have that be. That reminds me of what I was trying to get at earlier. So, Christina V. <laughs> I realized growing up that she was everywhere. Just as I would argue she was just as much my childhood as people would say Grey Delisle or Tara Strong or uh, shoot, there was another one whose name was Cree Summers. Uh, like Christina V, like she voiced Ying and Paladins. She is currently Marinette in the Marcus Ladybug, although as of the point of recording this, didn't it just end? I still got to catch up. Darn. Uh, and then there are a couple other things that I realized she was in when I saw the credits roll. And I was like, wait, hold on. That Christina V? No way. And I don't know. She means a lot to me. If it's, <laughs> if it's not obvious, I'm pretty interested in voice acting myself. I don't have any actual experience doing it. But I feel like when I really try, I can do really good voice impressions. And I can do some pretty silly voices at times as well. Huh? What's that? Is it morning already? No. Snooze time. <laughs> it's the morning already. Yes. Okay, time to clock in. Warp grids are on the job. Just don't fall back asleep anytime soon. Ooh, another one of these. Hmm. Now, how do I handle this? Oh. Very easily, apparently. I feel like I probably should have bought some magic, but I didn't. Didn't have a lot of money. And I'm not sure how to go about this. No, I didn't mean to drink my potion. Oh, that's so much money. Make our way across a bit further. Every little bit counts. She also has insanely long range with it, but I guess it depends on our hair. Shantae is screwed if anyone decides to take a scissor to her hair. Unless it can just grow back quickly. Which, in that case, I'd be very envious. Just take care of all- Wow, there's so many of them up there. I think I just accidentally found a farm spot. Not that I'm gonna complain, I kinda need the money. I just- Stop spawning so I can get up there. Dang it. Go away. <laughs> there's so many of you! It's an endless army! You guys are really cute, though. I kind of like you. What are some other things Christina V has been in? Oh, um, okay. So, well, it started off as a flash thing, but Tome, the terrain of magical expertise created by Chris Neosi, Christina V voices Dust Bunny in it. And I didn't realize that until like years later when I was rewatching it with a friend because we were, we were talking about like stuff from our childhood, like nostalgia based stuff. And I mentioned to him that like, I, like a whole lot of people from New Gowns were like more my childhood than any TV show was for me, really. And that's why I say to like, I will put them on the same level. Thank the heavens you are right here. Yes, save my game for me, please. Save complete. And now it's Tangle Forest. I see that dude back there. Oh, the art is lovely. And look at this little guy. Hey, don't start flying. That's weird. Oh, look at the vines and branches. Stop that. And don't shoot things either. Nowhere to go but past this point. Wait for that guy to move. Oh, oh. No, no, no. They're further back. Okay. Where do I go from here? Up this branch, I presume? Back down? Oh. Ooh, secrets to be had. She cannot wall jump, unfortunately. But you know what? Not all of us can wall jump anyway, so I'm not gonna judge her too heavily for it. Hey, don't start flying. 
Darn it. Whoa. Ooh, money. And I still got hit by that. Hmm. I want to explore it further, but I should probably go meet up with this Roddy Tops lady. Oh, I'm so curious. Am I still on the map? I am. Oh, I see. I need to go further back. Oh, no, no, no. I need to step forward. I think she's in the forest. So this is the right way. Yep. Yes, Cherie. Hey, snack cakes. What's shaking? You still me owe me a, you still owe me a brainy though. Stop it, Roddy Tops. You just missed my brothers. We've been doing a wagon tour sampling the local cuisine. Here. You have got to try one of these. What is that? <gasps> this is someone's pet. Put it back where you found it. Come on, it's just a scout's taste. Never mind. I'll return this puppy myself. Look, Roddy, I need your help. Have you ever heard of a magic seal? Not ringing any bells. I'll check the web. Ugh, what is that thing? Aw, he's my chit chat spider. Zombies use them to communicate across long distances via web vibration. Sisha, you should see our network. It's like worldwide. I just send a message out and another zombie will answer back in no time. None of my pals have heard of a magic seal. Sorry, Chica. Can you locate Risky Boots with that? Yeah. Look, she was spotted in Scuttletown today. I was there. That was just this morning. After that, she traveled up the coast, shaking down locals. She's looking for the three barons of Sequin Land. Yuck, the thing's full of bugs now. Barons of Sequin Land. Who are they? Thieving badnits who pass themselves off as artifact collectors. They mostly gather up old magical trinkets and such. Oh, gross. Now he's got a worm. Artifact collectors. Risky thinks one of them has a magic seal. The Squid Baron, the Ammo Baron, and the Hypno Baron. According to this, the Squid Baron lives here in this forest. If you're thinking about stopping by his place, you better be on your toes. I'll start my search with the Squid Baron. Thanks, Roddy. Oh. Thanks for perusing the web and... Oh, I, I, oh, I do have a dog on me. <laughs> oh no. It's a puppy. Its cuteness makes your makes your heart sing. Oh dear. Someone was going to eat you. How horrible. I don't know where you go though. I guess someone in Scuttletown's probably missing a puppy though. Now, according to the map, I need to go all the way down and then further down. But first, maybe three sections down to get that teleporter, it looks like. So let's do just that. Where exactly are you taking me, huh? There should be nothing there. Or maybe there is something here. Ooh. I see what you're supposed to be. I'll return for you someday. At least ideally I will. I might forget. Can't seem to get up from that side. Well, hey, it's you again. Give me money. We'll dip back one here. Hi, you. Huh, what's that? <gasps> is it morning already? Yes, it is. Okay, time to clock in. Warp squids are on the job. Thank you. Can't go any further than this point. But at least we unlocked that guy. And then when we head back to Scuttletown, we can work on unlocking the others. Knock this guy out. You carry lots of money. That's good. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel if people specifically attacked me purely because they knew that I would have a lot of money. Honestly, they probably wouldn't. I cannot make that jump. Too dangerous. And that skull guy is gonna block my path. Some may say that I'm not even trying to not get hurt. 
I do have one last potion, so maybe I'll take a sip of that. Could you scooch over a bit? Perfect. Yes, money. We'll hop from here. What's up? Varg, no smash me. I'll figure out eventually. Probably need some item that I don't have yet. Like a compact drill? No, that's not what you use at all. Hmm. This place is beautiful and I'm loving the music right now. I feel like Shantae is such an underrated series. Everyone always like, when it comes to platformers, is always like Mario, Kirby, Sonic. But Shantae's like right here and she's super cool and adorable. And I kind of lost track of where I am. Oh, I know where I am. Scratch that. Oh, but I can't go past that point. Right, 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 right. Okay, so I'm in the right place? Yes. I think it's boss time. There's a red skull and everything. Ooh, creepy. Can I go for past this point? I could. There's something way down there. Kind of want to know what a, that something is. Can I go in here? Who's out there? The lunch courier? If you don't have my tasty meal, get lost. Oh. Okay, no boss fight just yet, but we'll come back. I wouldn't say that pixel art is a lost art form, but I definitely feel like people don't give it the credit that it really deserves nowadays. A lot of indie games do pixel art, mostly because it's a lot friendlier on most computers on average. But also, it's just really beautiful. I think the new trend nowadays, especially in the indie scene, wrong button, the newest trend, especially on the indie scene, is is like that early PS style, but I still think there's very much a place for pixel art. I think pixel art is definitely up there for being one of my favorite art styles. I don't really dabble in it a lot. Oh, wow. That was poor timing on my part. I don't dabble with, in it a lot on myself, but when I, when I do, I always have a lot of fun. In this game, WayForward does a phenomenal job with it. Oh, his house is here. Oh yeah, Squid Barons. Or not? Who are you? Welcome, miss. I'm very sorry, but today's orders are all backed up. My dream has always been to become a master chef, traveling the world with my pup, Wobble Bell. He seems to have run away, and without him to inspire my dishes, my dream has fallen into ruin. If you find him, please tell him I miss him. Oh, Wobble Bell, I miss my pup so much. Are you the pup in question? Uh, hold on. Uh, I guess it doesn't work like that. Can it be? Is that my Wobble Bell? Please, can I have my precious pup back? Yeah, I can't do that to you. Wobble Bell, you're back. Seeing you again fills me with vigor. Oh, miss, how can I ever thank you? I know. We'll celebrate by trying out my latest recipe. Stand back and watch me sizzle. Voila! That's how we cook up a tasty meal using only natural ingredients. Now that Wobble Bell is back home safely, my dream of becoming a favorite chef can finally come true. Right, Wobble Bell? You got a tasty meal. Ooh. What's this? A tasty meal to go. Sure smells great. Oh, I can't eat it? Aww. Well, I'm glad you got your puppy back. Such a strange place to set up camp, though. How many people are going to come to your house? Oh, gosh. I need to go home and maybe get some more... More potions at some point. You! Give me money! Nice. Perfect. Now, where do I go from here? I guess I just head back home, don't I? Roddy Tops doesn't know anything, and I need to find Squid Baron. And hit you like that. I suppose... Yeah, I guess I can always just head back to Scuttletown, so maybe I'll do just that. Now the... Squid is just up ahead. Where can I take you today? 
Ah, I see. Uh, well, I'm already... I'm already in Tangle Forest, I suppose. So just take me to Lilac Field. Warp to Lilac Field? Yes, please. All right, heading to Scuttletown was a bust. So instead, we're going to head back to Roddy Tops to see if she has anything to say. Maybe I wasn't paying attention and misread something. Have I already been in here? I have not. Ooh. Big health. Suppose I just walk across, don't I? Ah, yeah. Ooh, money. I know. Huh? There's no way to unlock this door. Interesting. How do I go about fixing that? I guess there's no way, huh? We'll just head out from whence we came. And, oh dear. Don't think I can head that way, actually. I thought I was on trajectory to meet up with Roddy. Oh no, I am. I just need to take a bit of more of a scenic route, it would seem. Head up this way, I believe. Excuse me. And, no, 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 that's the wrong way. This way. There we are. Hey, Roddy. There's somewhere in this forest. Start with him. Oh, I, I guess I have to go past to you. Hit this button. Oh, no, this is not it either. Hmm. I guess that's what that key is for, isn't it? Oh! Gosh darn it. I'm such a dingus. That guy was asking about his lunch earlier. The skull. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It looks like I still got a long way to go before I uh, fully understand this game. That being said, I should probably end this episode here then. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, any input on how I can improve is greatly appreciated. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day or you guys have a great night. And I will see you next time. Bye bye now.